A former Minister of Aviation, Femi Fanikaidi, has apologized for referring to a journalist Ayot House as stupid. Fanikaidi, in a statement on Wednesday, said after the meeting with his advisers, he's withdrawing the word stupid used in his encounter with a journalist in Calabar. The former minister, however, denied allegations that he was threatening to harm the Daily Trust reporter as he remained a friend of the media and would be the last to seek to disparage those who are honourable and noble within its ranks. The former minister had come under heavy criticism for calling the reporter stupid during a press conference in Calabar, the Cross River State capital. In a video that has since gone viral on social media, Fanny Karadi is seen giving the Daily Trust reporter a dressing down for asking him a, quote, stupid question, end of quote. The journalist was said to have asked Fanny Karadi, who bankrolled his recent tour of several southern states. And joining us live to discuss this is Mustafa Isa, president of the Nigerian Guild of Editors. Thanks for joining us. Thank you. Good evening. Now, what's the position of the Nigerian Guild of Editors on this matter? No, our position is very clear. Um, Farika already just tried to intimidate the journalist, the reporter, for asking a very valid question. It, 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 it's very clear. Even a model in my newsroom, I, I asked the question, look, how can the public individual have been inspecting projects of, of governors? So there's a valid question, who is backholding him? I think one day he wants to respond to that question. He tried to intimidate the, the, the reporter, which will rejected outrightly, because the guy was doing his duty. In fact, that, guy, that reporter deserved a national award, really, if you ask me. So uh, I think I was, this is the same man who criticizes government every day. Look at the kind of names he calls the vice president. Look at the kind of names he calls the president. Let me just tell you this. If you tell there's a body that, that called a reporter stupid, SSK would have been on Twitter today, yearning as the president. But he himself has done this now. Sometimes I am tempted to say, do you really blame him? But the media have probably promoted him beyond relevance or beyond his capacity. You know, everything, everything he says is, is in the media because uh, we, we, we are the habit of promoting those who criticize the government, even when they have very questionable background. But you keep saying that he's a former minister. What did he achieve as a minister? We should ask you that question. Okay, um, going, going back that? now to yeah. this matter, there's been several rants on social media. You know, what exactly yeah. should the journalists have done ethically? You know, I think... We, 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 the question, at a point, what he posted, he left out the question I was asked uh, by the reporter. But when I, I got in touch with um, uh, Daily Trust, and I said, this is what I'm asking. Ethically, though he was making allegations of brown envelope, blah, 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 and all that, well, he doesn't have any evidence of that. But ethically, once a reporter's conscience is clean, you do your job diligently, you don't ask for any favors, then you, 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 you are good to go. So basically, if the reporter has been given money by, uh, uh, by FFK, we would have probably said, okay, you do this one because you gave me money. That is why I am pleading with my colleagues, my reporters, editors, please, 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 do your job diligently. Please don't ask for favor from those you are supposed to keep in check. Because our duty is very clear in the Constitution. We are supposed to hold government accountable to the people. You know, but if you compromise yourself, it's very difficult for you to do the job. They will look at you and say, okay, this guy is um, just um, give you something, everything, everything, everything you, just, you just let go. So I have pre prayed my colleagues in this, and this regard, but please, when your conscience is clean, when you have not soiled your hands, you are going to ask valid questions and they will demand answers from such, uh, for such people. Hmm. So that is the way, that is, that is just the way to go. And now he's apologized. Is this apology acceptable or what more can the Guild or the NGJ <laughs> be asking for? No, 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 he has, he has not apologized. Please read, read what he claimed to be an apology. He said, he's sorry for using the word stupid. What he did goes beyond using the word stupid. Please watch the entire video. He just be arrogant, really. He, as far as I'm concerned, he hasn't apologized. And I'm pleading with, with the media today in, in Nigeria, the entire media industry, please let us blacklist SFK for any cowardice for life. He actually apologized. 
If if he's not was stupid, he made a lot of claims, said a lot of things. You know, so it's not about it, about the issue of the world stupid. He goes beyond that. So when he met a proper apology, we will know. But as far as he hasn't, he hasn't, he hasn't, he hasn't read any apology, as far as you are concerned. Hmm. And uh, uh, finally, what's your message to public office holders who uh, talk down on journalists? You know, uh, there was a day when governor came to my office. Um, and so on the last program, I did, my uh, answer person asked him, you know, are you corrupt? The man just laughed and said, you know what, um, I am not corrupt. And I'm not planning to be corrupt. You can see the way the man responded to that kind of thing. You see, a journalist can ask any question. It is not for you to say you want to respond or not. But don't yell at journalists. So we have appealed to public, public office holders. We will keep asking relevant questions. It is your duty to give us proper responses. That is our job. In fact, the day a reporter stops asking relevant questions, it should be out of business. Hmm. So, this should not dissuade us from asking public and relevant questions from public. This is our duty. You, you have to inform us. You are there. You can imagine. Fanica, how they call the press conference? Did they give the reporters no go areas? No. So, we are going to keep asking questions because the people want to know. They want to know what you are doing. They want to know what you plan to do. And <laughs> your points are well noted, uh, Mr. Issa. Thank you very much for your Thank thoughts. You. You're welcome. Thanks for having me.